Hi, greetings to fellow tributes. Well, Young Adult April 2022 now comes to a close as we take a look at the final installment of the Hunger Games film series, The Hunger Games Mocking J Part 2. After being attacked by a hijacked or brainwashed Peter Malark, Katniss Everdeen recovers from injuries in District 13. President Conger refuses to let Katniss go to the Capitol until they take District 2, so instead, she sends her to join the assault in the Capitol's army in District 2, the last district controlled by the Capitol. Although she is able to rally the rebels and convince District 2 to join the, join the rebellion, she is, shot, she is shot by a civilian, but merely injured due to her bulletproof Mockingjay costume. Joanna covers for Kenneth while she sneaks on board a helicopter on its way to the capital. Coin becomes aware of Kenneth's defiance but plays along. Kenneth is recruited into the Star Squad, which includes Gale and a recently married Finnick. Peta, who is still unfairly recovered, joins them to appear propaganda videos. <clears throat> Led by Boggs, the team makes their way to the capital, evading booby trapped pods placed along the way with Boggs' holographic map called the Hollow. Box is fatally wounded by a pod and bestows the hollowed Katniss before dying. The squad accidentally triggered another pod, releasing a flood of lethal black tar. And Peter momentarily succumbs to his condition and attacks Katniss, killing Mitchell in the process. <clears throat> Katniss refuses to kill Peter, but Gale states that he would kill him if needed. The group are then trapped in a building by peacekeepers. The League sisters stay behind his distraction so the group can escape the building. The peacekeepers just Peacekeepers destroy the building, and the Capitol Brock has a message announcing Katniss's apparent death, <clears throat> which is then noted by Coin, who delivers an impassioned eulogy to rally the rebels. The team then travel in the sewers, but they are then ambushed by genetically engineered mutts, who kill several members of the group, including Finnick. <clears throat> Katniss uses the hollow to self-destruct and cause an explosion to kill the mutts. The team then escapes the sewers and takes shelter in a house owned by former Hunger Games stylist Tigris. Snow invites capital citizens to take shelter in his mansion, forming a human shield around the mansion. Cass and Gale join the group of citizens in order to infiltrate the mansion, but during this attempt, the rebels finally arrive at the capital and engage in a gunfight with the peacekeepers, with several capital citizens being caught in the crossfire. In the confusion, a hovercraft mark with the capital insignia drops bombs into the crowd. When a group of medics, including Cass's sister Prim, arrive to treat the wounded, the second wave of bombings occurs, killing Prim and knocking Katniss unconscious. Katniss awakes, and Hamish informs her the, rebe the rebels have finally won the rebellion. Katniss confronts Snow, who is being held prisoner and is awaiting execution. He explains to Katniss the coin staged a bombing to turn his followers against him and reminds Katniss of his promise to never lie to her. Katniss realizes Gale had suggested a similar strategy and is stunned when Gale cannot deny his part in Prim's death. Quine calls a meeting of the Hunger Game of the surviving Hunger Games victors, where she declares herself the interim president of Pan Am. She calls for a, for a vote for a final symbolic Hunger Games, but instead using the children of capital leaders as revenge. Candace votes yes, under the condition that she can execute Snow. At Snow's execution, Candace kills Quine instead, which causes a riot of citizens to lynch and kill Snow. Peter stops Candace from committing suicide and she is arrested. In the captivity, Hamish brings Candace a letter from Plutarch, ass assuring she will be pardoned. There will be no last Hunger Games, and she will be able to return to District 12. Returning home to District 12, Candace finds Peta, who was almost fully recovered from his conditioning. They receive a letter from Annie, Finnick's wife, telling him that her and son, Finnick's son has been born. Candace's mother is still treating survivors, and Gail was promoted to captain. Commander Paler is formally elected the new president of Pan Am. Years later, Cass and Peter play with their two children in a meadow. The orphan cries from a nightmare, and Candace ponders that they will eventually learn her story and about her time in the games. She muses to her baby that sometimes she plays a game wherein she imagines everything good that she's ever seen anyone do. She says that the game gets a little tedious at times, but states that there are much worse games to play. Mm-hmm. So now let's take a look at the production of this movie, beginning with the pre-production. On, on July 10th, 2012, Lionsgate announced that the film adaptation of Mockingjay will be split into two parts. The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1, released on November 21st, 2014, 
and The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2, released on November 20th, 2015. On November 1st, 2012, Francis Lawrence, the direct director of The Hunger Games Catching Fire, announced he would return to direct both final films in the series. Talking about direction for the last two parts, Francis explains, quote, I felt a different kind of pressure. On The Hunger Games Catching Fire, I had to prove myself a little bit as a new guy in the game. It was a relief that it was received well by the fans. Even though I was relieved, it was only momentary. I sort of set the bar higher for the next one. On December 6, 2012, Denny Strong announced that he would write the third and fourth films. On February 15, 2013, Lionsgate approved the script for Part 1 and gave Strong permission to write that of Part 2. In August, Hemsworth confirmed that shooting of the film would begin the following month. The film's production began on September 16, 2013, in Boston, Atlanta, and Los Angeles. Studio Balbusberg co-produced and oversaw production services for the film. On November, on November 13, 2013, producer Nina Jacobson revealed that Peter Craig was also hired to write the adaptations. The film carried a production budget of, 100, of $160 million, with a further $55 million spent on promotion advertisements, and $13.9 million in a television advertisements. Oh, excuse me. So now let's take a look at the casting. All the principal cast, such as Jennifer Lawrence as Katniss, Josh Hutcherson as Peta, Liam Hemsworth as Gale, Whit Harrelson as Hamish, Donald Sutherland as President Snow, Elizabeth Banks as Effie, Will Shields as Prim, Paul Malcolmson as Cass, as Kenneth's mother, and Stanley Tucci as Caesar, returned to reprise their roles. Julian Moore also returned to reprise her role as President Alma Coyne, along with Philip Seymour Hoffman, who died during the filming in November, February 2014, as Plutarch. He had nearly completed his scenes, and his remaining scenes were rewritten to compensate for his absence. Regarding Hoffman's scenes, Francis Lawrence, com Francis Lawrence commented quote, that, quote, he had two substantial scenes left and the rest were appearances in other scenes. We had no intention to try to pick a performance. So we, so we rewrote those scenes to give to other actors. The rest, we just have them appear in those scenes. There's no digital, militia, digital manipulation or CG fabrication of any kind. One of the changed scenes saw the character of Plutarch sending Katniss a letter in prison, Rabbi Hamage, rather than coming himself to talk to her after her arrest, after her arrest for assassinating President Coyne. The spin is him being unable to see her for political reasons after her actions, which he nonetheless supports. On August 26, 2013, it was announced that actor Steph Dodson had joined the cast to play Annie Cresta. Lionsgate announced on September 13, 2013, that Julian Moore joined the cast to play, to play President Alma Coyne. That same month, Lily Rabe, Patina Miller, Marsha Ali, Wes Chatham, Nell and Henson were announced to have joined the cast to reprise the roles of Commander Lime, Commander Paler, Boggs, Castor, and Pollux, respectively. During this time, there was also a casting call for extras. Rape Sisters subsequently had to leave the film due to a scheduling conflict with the 2014 Shakespeare in the Park production of Much Ado About Nothing. On, on April 4th, 2014, it was announced that she would be replaced by Gwendolyn Christie to, to portray Lyme. Wyatt Russell was originally offered a role in both parts of Mockingjay, but his father Kurt confirmed in September 2013 that he had turned down the offer to star in 22 Jump Street. Hmm. And now on to the filming. Principal photography began on September 13th, 20 Atlanta, 20, on September 23rd, 2013 in Atlanta, and concluded on June 20th, 2014 in Berlin, Germany. The two parts were filmed back to back. In October 2013, filming took place in Rockmar, Georgia. After the cast and crew took a break to promote the Hunger Games Catching Fire, film resumed on December 2nd, 2013. On December 14th, 2013, Shooting was at the, at, the Mar, at the Marriott Marquis in Atlanta. On December 18th, shooting began at Caldwell Tanks in Noonan, Georgia. Philip Seymour Hoffman died on February 2nd, 2014. He had completed his scenes for Part 1 and had a week left of shooting for Part 2. Lionsgate thereafter released a statement affirming that since the majority of Hoffman's scenes have been completed, the release date for Part 2 would not be affected. It was initially announced that Hoffman would be digitally recreated for a major scene involving his character that had not been shot. But Francis Lawrence later stated that he had rewritten Hoffman's two remaining scenes to compensate for the actor's absence, and there would be no digital manipulation or CG fabrication of any kind. 
in a scene near the end of the film, in a scene near the end of the film, which was to have shown Plutarch speaking with Candace at detention, Woody Harrelson's character instead reads a letter from him. <clears throat> filming, in mid, filming in Atlanta completed in mid-April 2014, and production moved to Europe. On May 9th, filming took place in the Escapades de Abrax complex in Jose Le Grand, Paris. Sorry, but your imagination of those. It's a similar location where Brazil was filmed 30 years earlier. Toward the end of May, the cast crew shot scenes at several locations in Berlin and Brandenburg, Germany. In Rudersdorf, Brandenburg, sorry if I mispronounced that, the crew shot scenes for the portrayal of District 8 in an old cement factory. Hensworth was injured on the set and was, was brought to doctor in, in the Berlin Borough Mitte. Scenes for District 2 were shot at Berlin Tempelhof Airport. Scenes for the underground approach on the capital were filmed in the Metropolitan Area Outer Underground Discharge Channel in Japan. A German casting agency sought 1,000 ethnically diverse extras, African, Asian, Southern European, and Turkish, and lived, and, and lived, lived or lived faces, or whatever, to shoot scenes at a Babelsberg film studio. And now on to the music. The film score was released on December 4th, 2015. <clears throat> James Newton Howard returned to compose the score. Unlike the previous films in the series, there was no additional pop companion album with songs inspired by the film. Jennifer Lawrence performed Deep in the Meadow, a lullaby that she sang in the first film. Huh, interesting. Now finally, let's take a look at the future of the franchise, starting with potential spin-offs. On August 8th, 2017, Variety reported that Lionsgate CEO John Feltenheimer has, has, has interest in having spin-offs made for Hunger Games and wants to create a writer's room to explore the idea. When asked about the idea of, of Hunger Games spin-offs, Jeff Lawrence said, quote, I think it's too soon. They've got to let the body get cold, in my opinion. And now finally, on to the prequel. On June 7, 2019, Joe Drake, chairman of the Lionsgate Motion Picture Group, announced an interview that the company is, in, is communicating and working closely with Suzanne Collins with regards to an adaptation of her, hunger, of her prequel Hunger Games novel, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which was released on May 19th, 2020. He stated, quote, As the proud home of the Hunger Games movies, we can hardly wait for Suzanne's next book to be published. We've been communicating with her during the writing process, and we look forward to continuing to work closely with her on the movie. In April 2020, Collins and Lionsgate confirmed plans were underway for the movie's development. Casting had not yet begun, but director Francis Lawrence has been confirmed to return after his success with the Hunger Games trilogy. The script writer will be Michael Arndt, with Nina Jacobson and author Suzanne Collins as producers. It's currently set for release in late, 23, late 2023 or early 2024. Huh. That's going to be interesting. Of course, I haven't read the book yet, so there's that. <laughs> So overall, as the final, as the final film in the Hunger Games series, this is really good, and the ending is just, in my opinion. So yeah. So overall, I give the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part Two five Mockingjays out of five. Well, thank you all for watching until April 2022. Hope you enjoyed these videos, and next month will will be and next month is Marvel May 2022, as we're going to be taking looking at as we're going to take a look at the films in Phase 3 of the MCU, beginning with Captain America Civil War and ending with Spider-Man Far From Home. So, and so, and next year, for Young Adult April 2023, we're going to be taking a look at the Divergent books and movies. So, stay tuned for that. So, until then, remember everyone, may the odds be ever in your favor.